Hey everybody, I'm your host, the Dr. Bob Lee, and you're watching Open. It's that live interactive program that brings the Bronx and New York City straight to your TV set. You can stay connected to us through social media at BronxNet TV. Leading things off, our first guest is a radio host and founder of the Avril, Avril Radio Show. And uh, she joins us to highlight her show and her passion for helping others get what they need out of life. That's through her foundation. So please welcome to the show, Miss Avril Francis. Welcome. And thank you for having me, Bob. Avril's in the house. <laughs> I like what you have on. I love your colors and everything. It's that, that Caribbean thing. The Caribbean think it's Nevis yeah. representing, oh, oh yeah, celebrating independence. St. Kitts, I love St. Kitts. I've been there, been across the Nevis too. And mm. uh, you know, they still have the Jack Tar Hotel and all those things over all there. All those things are still there waiting for you to come back. We're gonna come back. We're but, coming uh, back. Yeah, but tell us a little bit about what you, you're doing with your organization. Well, I'm the founder of the Avril Show Foundation. I started, mm -hmm. um, been on radio since 2002. I was always um, supporting Cancer Foundation, uh -huh. Cancer yeah. Walk, and not knowing if my money is getting where it's supposed to go. Mm -hmm. So I decide to take it in my hands and to make sure that it's done the way that I would like it to be done. Uh -huh. So in 2009, I started the Avril Show Foundation where I, give, I send students off to college, mm -hmm. give scholarships and honor cancer survivors, and people in the community who is making a difference. I like that. And what uh, prompted you to get involved in, in radio, you know, to highlighting all the wonderful things that needs to be done in our community? Bob, I like to talk. Mm -hmm. And um, I think I called in on a show in 2002 yeah. and to voice my concern of, with the host. And um, I was invited to come into the studio and uh, after mm -hmm. that, I was told that I need to have my own show. Yeah. So 93.5 contacted me, and um, I did two years the Trevor Ford show, and then in 2004, I started uh -huh. doing the Avril show. And Beautiful. that's where it took off. Now, you speak on issues such as education, religious issues, community issues, policing and incarceration, and so many others. Tell us about the, some of those things that you talk, some of those topics that you talk about on your show? Everything you say, yes, Bob. I talk about everything. I talk from the controller's office who have the money. I talk about the mayor, election, elected officials, anything that has to help the people and to bring awareness. So there's nothing mm -hmm. I don't talk about. I yeah. think when I first started to talk about LGBT, people say, you're crazy, you can't go there. I said, I'm going there because there, it's not what you talk about is how you talk about it. Mm -hmm. And we have to highlight everybody. So that's what my show is all about. I, I discuss issues that affect in the community. And um, so there is nothing that I won't talk about. Are you still doing the radio show today? Yeah, I'm still doing it. Um, mm -hmm. But I do it more on a past podcast level yeah. because I realize that's where everyone is. So you have to go where the people are. Mm -hmm. And so folks like tonight, they tune in. They want to know what is she coming with. So uh -huh. I'm still doing the Monday Night Community Talk. The Avril Show. The Avril Show. All right. So what do you have coming up? On well, tonight, definitely, I got to touch on the mayor and... Um, mm -hmm. What you gonna talk about? I gotta talk about what's going on. It's <laughs> too much chaos. Yeah. So somebody gotta bring awareness. And mm -hmm. uh, what I realize is that in media there is um, a place for everyone. Mm -hmm. The Avril show, you'll be at BLS. Somebody listens to no other than BLS or so Kiss FM or something else. Well. But um, the fact of the matter is, I have a following. Yeah. And um, after the pandemic came and I realized that's where everyone was, I decided to stay there. Because the people, they literally, if I'm not there, what happened to the show, mm -hmm. they just want to hear what I have to talk about. Because I'm always touching on something that the people needs to, to know about. Are you connected with uh, a lot of the elected officials? Oh, very connected. Too connected. Mm -hmm. That when it's something with politics, everybody come after me. They say, oh, 
your politician or your senator. It's always my senator uh -huh. or my councilman or it's always something with politics that come after me. So you can let them know that, you know, they got to make sure they do the right thing because they're going to come after you. They're going to come after me. <laughs> so I have to touch on the mayor because I uh -huh. got involved with the mayor's office. Yeah. And um, I was placed on one of his um, committees that's to target the Caribbean, West Indian um, community. So when you hear things that's happening, you got to get involved. You need to know. Yeah. And you have a big prayer breakfast coming up. Talk about that. Well, I have a prayer breakfast on October 26th. I don't know how God put that in my spirit that our people need praying for. Yeah. So we have the evangelist Bridget Blucher, well-known. Anytime she hit New York, it's a sold-out event. Oh. So she's coming in from Florida, and I have Shelly Fan Fan. She's a great speaker, mm -hmm. and um, I think um, the people need her because we have a cry, mental illness, depression. We are going through so much, so we need praying for. So our elected officials will be prayed for that morning. Beautiful. Yeah, so it's, a, it's really a prayer breakfast mm -hmm. and a movement that I feel that our community needs, and, and they it, don't have it. There's a lot of the people that are going to be there. Oh. Let's post that up one more time, guys. I got, I got one coming up. There you go. Uh, speak to it. There it is. Some of the people that are going to be there, some of the other people. Okay, yes, we have uh, Shelly Fan Fan. She's coming out of Florida. Mm -hmm. Pastor Judith Esdale, who's right here in the Bronx, a powerful pastor. And we have Simone Jones, who's going to be my moderator. She's from mm -hmm. Councilman Kevin C. Riley's office. And um, as I said, you can't go wrong when you have evangelist Bridget Blucher in the house. Abina, she's a local artist, but uh -huh. she's also great. So that morning, we are coming to tear the Bronx down. You're coming. We are coming to release stress and depression and mental illness, all that going to be in the room. So, Bob, mm. feel free to come because all of us need prayer. Yes, yes. And where's it going to be? At Eastwood Manor in the Bronx. Eastwood Manor in the Bronx. On what date again? October 26th at 9 a.m. And the room's going to be lit. It's going to be lit, Bob. So you need to pass through and make sure that you get some of that anointing. Yeah, yeah. That's good. You just sound like you got a little, you know, pastoring in you. I have it in me, Bob. I, I think, I, you know, I, I may need your daughter to teach me to sing now, but I got something in me. We may bring Sheena Lee down. I'll tell her about it. I'll give her this flyer. Right? Yes, that's yeah. right. Yes. You got it. Okay. What's happening after this? you have anything else happening? Because I know you, you guys are trying to set up a trip to St. Nevis or St. Kitts. Well, Bob, yes, I have to get you back down to St. Kitts. <laughs> and over to Nevis, because, you know, Nevis is just a boat away right, from St. Right, Kitts. That's so, right. And our premier, Mark Brantley, the Honorable Mark Brantley, the oh, premier wow. of Nevis, of course he'd be happy to have you. He has that attitude and personality. Uh -huh. And, you know, a new prime minister now, that's Dr. Jew, Terrence Jew, uh -huh. who will be in town next week. Yeah, he is something else and um, a great, great young man. Uh, he's coming a young to the prayer breakfast? Oh, he's going to be here for a prayer breakfast that we're having this Saturday uh -huh. also on the 27th. So, Bob, I'm involved in a whole lot of prayer breakfast because I got to keep being prayed for. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. I know that's right. Where, where can we reach you? Give me some social media or website. You, could meet, you can find me on the AvilShow.com mm -hmm. or my foundation is www.theavilshowfoundation.org or on social media, The Avril Show. Mm -hmm. Or me, Avril Francis. Yeah. Before we go, tell me a little bit more about uh, your foundation, because I know you're working with cancer patients, right? Yes. Well, I, as I said, I honor cancer survivors, people uh -huh. who have beaten the odd and still here. And mm -hmm. over the years, um, it has been a tough road because I've honored two cancer survivors. We had one that passed on Thanksgiving Day. Wow. So it was very emotional this year. So every year, it's the first weekend in June, the first Friday, yeah. every year that I have this foundation event. And the elected officials, they really come out and support me. They, be, it, they become family to the foundation. Yeah. And during that time, I honor students who is going off to college um, with a scholarship. So I always look for people to get involved because my goal is to help support young people 
um, in education, mm -hmm. you know, but it's a struggle because the money that I get, I get it through selling tickets. So I haven't found mm. a big sponsor like you, <clears throat> you yet, You need Bob. a big sponsor. Yeah, like yourself, who mm. can come in and just give me some money <laughs> to say, hey, okay. we're here to help you. And yes. Um, yes. so the foundation, and then in October, I support causes. Whatever money is left over, yeah. I support the cancer walk, you know, in October. Beautiful. I'm going to give you a camera, and I want you to reach out to the people in our audience. You can have this camera right here and just from your heart come out and ask for the money that you need. Hmm. Well, Bob, I'm reaching out on behalf of Avril Francis and Bob Lee. I'm pledging to you to support the Avril Show Cancer Foundation. This foundation started in 2009. It's a struggle to raise funds to do what I want to do with education, to empower our youths in our community, and to always be a proud sponsor of the Cancer Walk and other organization in the community who is making stride for cancer. There's a million cancer now who <laughs> over the years have developed, and my goal is to help to support research and to make a difference. So mm -hmm. please support me. I'm here, and my information is out there, the avilshowfoundation.org. And you're helping children also. Oh, yes. Yes, we're also, is you know, the Girl Scout. I'm behind the Girl Scouts. I want to help these You're doing youth. a whole lot. Good. You I, just let it out right yes, now. You got about a minute. One more minute. And I also, the NYPD explores, uh -huh. Explorers. Explorers, yes. Yes. So, I do pull kids out of the NYPD Explorers who is going off to college and try to support the 4-7, the 4-9, yeah. and I want to go beyond. Oh, you work with the police department too, oh, the 4-7 yes. and 4-9. Oh, yes. I'm, the, I'm also <laughs> the treasurer on the 4-7 uh -huh. precinct yeah. council. We don't say the 47th precinct. that We say it out in the community, but the 4-9, I mean, that's the inside. Those are inside words. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Thank you so much for the correction, Bob. No, no, no. It's not a correction. It's just what you use because you're in there. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah. So, yeah. Yes, and I get I get supporters like Monty Fury, mm -hmm. one of my biggest supporters, best Beautiful. vehicle car service. These are the There's people your electives right there. Oh, you got me there. Oh, yes. Councilman Kevin C. Riley, Senator Jamal Bailey, my Bronx District Attorney, our board president, <laughs> they support me year after there year. There you go. Give us that website again. www.theavilshowfoundation.org. There you go. And everybody in the audience is uh, giving you a big round of applause and they're considering what you just asked them for. The Avil Show and the Avil Show Cancer Foundation, thank you for all you do. Thank you so much, Bob Lee. Thank you for having me. All right. And we'll, we'll, we'll talk about St. Kitts and Nevis, too. We definitely <laughs> have to. Happy Independence, St. Kitts and Nevis. There you go. All right, we'll take a quick break right here. I've got more open. It's all coming your way next.